From kangaroos that live in trees to underwater yeti crabs, here are the 10 strangest animals that roam the earth. Number 10. Tree Kangaroo There are a lot of strange animals roaming around our planet, and one of the strangest has got to be the tree kangaroo. The last thing you expect from a kangaroo is for it to be hanging out in trees. But in 1990, a brand new species of tree kangaroo was found in the mountains of Papua New Guinea. It's now known as the Golden Mantled Tree Kangaroo. It has a unique chestnut brown coat, a pale belly, and gold fur on its back. This is a strange yet beautifully unique marsupial, and there are not many of them left. In fact, the reason these animals weren't even discovered until 1990 is because scientists estimate that about 99% of their population has already been eliminated. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, the tree kangaroo has adapted to life in the branches, kind of like a monkey, using its short legs and extremely strong forelimbs to climb. In fact, this weird marsupial is a strange cross between a kangaroo and a wallaby, and a kangaroo and a lemur. The entire family of marsupials that kangaroos are a part of actually did evolve from ancient animals that lived in the trees millions of years ago. They slowly evolved to live on the ground into what we now recognize as the Australian kangaroo. Have you ever seen a kangaroo in real life? Was it in a zoo or in the wild down in Australia? It's supposed to be a bad idea to go up to them and bother them. They could kick you so hard it breaks your ribs. Let me know about your most shocking encounters with wildlife in the comments below. Then, if you like this video, remember to subscribe to stay on top of all the new videos in store. If you don't want to miss any of them, you'd best subscribe. Number 9. Penis Snake This is a real animal and hopefully YouTube won't hold this against me. This might be the grossest thing you are going to see today, but try to keep it together. It's an animal. The penis snake looks exactly like you'd think it does. It's an unusual species, with a rounded head, a thick and cylindrical body that is unusually fleshy, and yes, it looks very phallic. But it's not actually a snake. It's an extremely rare amphibian with no limbs. According to the Huffington Post, the penis snake was first discovered in Brazil in 2011 while engineers were working on a dam. They found six of these weird creatures all at the same time. The species has been identified by a biologist as being an aquatic animal thought to breathe through its skin. It has no legs and no lungs, and in the past few years there has been very little learned about this unusual animal. They only managed to collect six specimens. One of them died, three were released back into the wild, and the remaining two were kept for study. Apparently, their closest living relatives are salamanders and frogs. The animal likely eats small fish and worms, but the truth is that the horrible ugly penis snake is just another mystery of the Amazon we don't know much about. As we destroy more and more of the jungle, we find more and more bizarre animals. Number 8. Speckled Bear This weird monster may look like something out of a fantasy horror movie, but it's actually just an adorable speckled bear. Her name is Dominga, and she was so lonely in the zoo she lived in that she lost all of her fur. This is what a bear looks like when it's naked. According to the president of the Animal Defenders International, the poor bear had just one strip of hair on the back of her head and going down her back, which left her with something like a mohawk. She may look scary, but Dominga is anything but intimidating. She's 14 years old and has been through quite a lot. She's a Peruvian speckled bear who was originally trafficked from the Amazon rainforest by evil animal traffickers. She was supposed to be sold as a pet or into the entertainment industry, but she managed to get rescued and sent to a zoo. But the zoo didn't turn out to be a very good home. The bear got incredibly lonely, the environment wasn't sufficient for her needs, and the bear was too intelligent to be kept in a cage like that. The only good part was that Dominga had her sister with her throughout the whole experience. But then her sister died from a terrible accident and Dominga got horribly depressed and lost all of her hair. But there is some good news. She was recently rescued by the Animal Defenders International and brought to an ecological reserve located in the Amazon rainforest where she can now live out the last bit of her life in a better environment. Number 7. Venezuelan Poodle Moth The Venezuelan Poodle Moth is one weird customer. It looks like a moth with hair like a poodle. It has long fluffy ears, extremely fluffy white wings, and big black eyes. It was first discovered and photographed in 2009, and most professionals believe it to be a new species. It was documented by Dr. Arthur Anker during a trip to Venezuela, but it didn't get much attention until just recently. The poodle moth is so extraordinary that many people thought the photos were doctored or altogether fake. But the confusion around the moth was because there were photos being posted of similar moths and not of the actual Venezuelan poodle moth. But let me assure you, the poodle moth is very real and it is very fluffy. 
Dr. Arthur Anker is notorious for visiting tropical rainforests and other exotic places all over the world, taking pictures of very real and very incredible animals, then placing the photos on his Flickr page. As of now, there is not a whole lot known about the Poodle Moth. Perhaps enterprising young researchers will go down to Venezuela and find out more about this and other remarkable creatures that live beyond the reach of civilization. Number 6. The Saiga Antelope Let me introduce you to one of the world's weirdest antelope. At first glance, this looks like a creature that belongs somewhere in the Star Wars universe. They have the strangest faces, not only of any antelope, but almost of any animal. Because they have adapted to the harsh conditions of the grasslands of Central Asia, one of the last remaining wildernesses in the Earth, the antelopes look incredibly different from all their distant cousins. They have huge bulbous noses that seem to sag, and they live in big nomadic herds. Their weird hanging nose is thought to be used for filtering out dust during dry summers, which makes sense because they live in a very dusty area. Unfortunately, the Saiga antelope used to live in herds that numbered in the millions, but like everything else they are rapidly declining in population. There are now just a few thousand of these animals, critically endangered and living in Kazakhstan. In case you didn't know, Kazakhstan is the ninth largest country in the world, and it has one of the largest unused land spaces, where you can still find wild antelope and wild camels. Number 5. Echidna The echidna is one of the weirdest animals roaming around on the earth. This thing is a bizarre mixture of a porcupine, a bird, a kangaroo, and a reptile. First, it definitely looks like a porcupine or a hedgehog. It has spikes growing out of its body that look dangerous to touch. On the other side, it has a beak for a mouth just like a bird. But underneath, it has a pouch like a kangaroo. But it lays eggs in the same way a reptile does. What the heck is this thing? Another name for the echidna is the spiny anteater. If you haven't guessed it by now, these solitary mammals are native to Australia and Tasmania, where so many of the weirdest animals on planet Earth live. They aren't very big, they only weigh about 10 pounds, but they are some of the neatest and most docile creatures in the world. And according to Wired, their spiky spines are actually modified hairs, with the fur between the spines acting as insulation. Number 4. Okapi How do you feel about a mini giraffe with a zebra pattern on its rear end? Well, that's exactly what the okapi is. It's a hoofed mammal that lives in the giraffe family, but is an absolutely bizarre species most people don't even know about. This weird giraffe hybrid lives in the forests of the Democratic Republic of Congo, and they are very close to being extinct. They were first discovered in the rainforest in 1901 by a British explorer, who then sent scraps of hide across the world to the British Museum. Even though the okapi is related to the giraffe, it's obviously much shorter. It also doesn't have the same colour pattern. It has an almost purple coat of fur, with its legs and buttocks looking exactly like a zebra. It really makes you wonder what exactly evolution was thinking when this thing turned out. Is it halfway to becoming a zebra, or halfway to becoming a giraffe? Or is it some type of weird hybrid that emerged when some very unusual cross-species mating occurred? What in the world is going on with the okapi? Seriously? Number 3. Indian Purple Frog There is no stranger frog roaming the earth than the Indian Purple Frog. As the name suggests, they live in India. And because of their limited distribution, they aren't obviously roaming all of the earth. But they are definitely strange. They spend most of their lives living underground, only surfacing for two weeks out of the year to mate. They don't even come out of the ground to eat food. They mainly sit underground eating termites that come near them and waiting for that one time of the year to mate. What a life that is. It's like sitting in your house, surviving on pizza delivery, and only going out once a year to try and find a partner. It's the ultimate lazy lifestyle. And the Indian purple frog even looks like a loafer. It's fat, purple, it has tiny little eyes, and it doesn't look like it could move very far if it wanted to. In fact, it looks like it's always bloated from eating way too much. Its head is way too small in comparison to its body, and it has a really long snout that sticks out of its face a little too far. And yeah, it's a super dark purple. Really, it's cute in the same way that a pug is adorable. It's just so strange looking, it's impossible not to love it. How nature comes up with this stuff, I will never know. Number 2. Narwhal There is one animal in the sea that is stranger and more fascinating than most others, and it's called the narwhal. You could also call it the unicorn of the sea, as it is so nicknamed. This is because most narwhals have an extremely long spiral tusk sticking out of their face. The narwhal tusk, which is generally found on males, is actually a very long tooth that has sensory capabilities of around 10 million nerve endings. Some narwhals even have two tusks, while other narwhals don't have any. Imagine if one of your teeth stuck out 10 feet from your face and had more nerve endings on it than one of your fingers. It's pretty incredible. And what's even more incredible is that when you look at a narwhal, it doesn't even look like it has a face. 
It almost looks like a fat black seal with a javelin extending from its nose, with no eyes or mouth. It could be the narwhal that is actually the closest thing planet Earth has to a real-life unicorn, and it's even possible that a fossilised narwhal was the inspiration for the mythical creature itself. Although to be honest, unicorns look a lot better than the chubby blob that lives deep in the polar north. Yes, narwhals do typically live in the Arctic waters, which is why they are so rare to see. According to the World Wildlife Foundation, narwhals live in Canada, Greenland, Norway and Russia. Number 1. The Yeti Crab The strangest real-life animal of the day is, like many of the weirdest looking creatures, a denizen of the depths. That's right, this very strange animal roams around on the bottom of the sea. This animal is a mixture between a yeti and a crab, and it's called a yeti crab. Surprise, surprise! While not particularly impressive, they don't have giant horns and they don't really do that much, these crabs are still very cool. They live at the very bottom of the ocean, in and around hydrothermal vents, which spew out boiling hot water from underground fissures. Most sea creatures wouldn't be able to live in such a habitat, but the yeti crabs really don't mind. These weird creatures were discovered first in 2005 and named after the mythical abominable snowman because of their hairy arms and white colour. They spend their days farming bacteria as a food source and basking in the extremely warm water around the hydrothermal vents. What a way to spend a life! But then again, nature has a place for all different kinds of life forms here on planet Earth. Which of these strange creatures is the most fascinating? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Out of the 10 animals on this list, how many had you never heard of until watching our video?